Before I start my sharing, may I just request you to look at the next person beside you and tell this phrase with your English accent. You really look good today, my friend. I've learned that from the General Services Office. <laughs> Our value for the week is commitment and dedication. Since it is already 2020, I believe that most of us have their own New Year's resolution. Normally, we tend to promise ourselves this year healthy diet. Magbabawas na po ako ng timbang. Or save money and spend less. Quit smoking. Konti na lang ang alcohol na iinumin ko. At magkakaroon na ako ng mas maraming oras sa aking pamilya at mga kaibigan. But, the question is, do we really have enough dedication and commitment to do it? How much are we willing to give for what we believe? I did my research at Google to find the exact definition of being dedicated and being committed as a person. And I have learned that there are many perceptions and insights regarding this matter. Like for instance, for a newly born baby, parents normally dedicate their child to the Lord, acknowledging that the child is precious in his sight. For a student, it takes dedication and commitment to pass all his grades and qualify as a graduate to his or her university. And for a man who is courting a girl, dedication means ibibigay ko lahat ng gusto mo maging ang between at kalangitan. And commitment means mamahalin kita sa dulo ng walang hanggan. But my focus today, my friends, is the dedication and commitment of a public servant like us who is working towards the genuine transformation for his or her nation. As part of the city government of Baguio, I am very proud that I belong to an organization who is completely dedicating and committing their life to ensure the general well-being of the citizenry. I know that each and every one of us have been working that hard to accomplish our goal. We commit our time, our resources, our energy to something we believe in. Some of us would also render overtime in our offices just to finish our job for the day, and that I tell you is commitment. We, the public servants, though faced with many challenges and trials, whether at home or at the office, like may alitan tayo sa pamilya, may utang na hindi nabayaran, may sakit si bunso, walang laman ang ref dahil sa kinsenas pa ang sahod, but we still manage to come and do our job calmly and smile to our customers, who we call the madlang people. And that, I tell you, my friend, again, is dedication. According to Sam Ewing, and I quote, It's not the hours you put in your work that counts. It's the work you put in the hours. And additionally, my friend Tito Yurik, my friend Tito Yurik once said, Being dedicated and committed is like saying to yourself that you are an effective and efficient person. Effective in the sense that you are doing the standard workload a day in your office. And efficient means doing works beyond what is expected from you. The challenge here is your choice. Are you already contented to do things at the average level? Or are you willing to dedicate yourself and give more effort to surpass what might be described as acceptable performance? A well-known man also said to me, that your determination and commitment makes your dreams into reality. At ngayon nga, from a working student, he is now the General Services Officer of the City Government of Baguio, Sir Eugene. Yes, in dedicating and committing yourself to the people as a servant is not an easy task. In reality, it is hard. It will sometimes hurt. It will take too much of your time. It requires sacrifice. Kailangan mong itulak ang sarili mo sa iyong limitasyon. There will also be temptations. But I promise you, when you reach your goal, that's the time that you will be proudly saying, it's worth it. My dear fellow public servants, commitment involves love. I may not be expert in this, for I am not yet married. But I tell you, when you learn to love the things that you are doing, 
you will be starting to enjoy life in the field of romance. To my conclusion, all of these things starts and ends with the Creator, our Almighty God. Subjecting everything first to God places us on a level of victory and certainty, for He will never put us to shame. By His grace, no amount of tasks are too difficult nor dreams too high to achieve as long as we are willing to give everything. When there comes a time that you are already tired and on the verge of giving up, remember this, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na hindi mo kaya. Sincerely yours, Mayor Benjamin Magalong. Thank you very much. Maligayang bagong taon sa lahat.